we're getting ready to thread the top thread of the sewing machine to the needle. Step number one is raising the presser foot. I'll be using this thick red thread to demonstrate the sewing pass, but I won't be using it to sew. First, position your thread on the thread pin. I have been taught to bring the thread so that it comes off the spool from the back of the machine towards the front. This might have its origins in the fact that slashes were cut literally into spools to hold the thread when you were finished using it so it wouldn't untangle. So I'm not really sure why this is the right way to do it, but I believe that might be it. Now we're ready to move on to threading. We have a thread guide here. It's just a floss through. And then we have one in the back that's a little arm. And we have to get the thread in the back of the machine and bring it underneath that arm towards the front into this slot. And then I'm going to change the position of the camera. I've done the top threading pathway and now my thread is falling into this groove. I'm simply going to pull it around up through the slot on this little mechanism known as the thread take-up lever, down again, after you finish going through the thread take-up lever and you're following this path here, there's an indication that there's a thread guide number seven and it's difficult to see because it's right here. It's easy to overlook it, but you actually have to take the thread, bring it towards the right, behind that metal plate and that's one more thread guide and there's one more above the needle right here. So you have to go through both of those. Now you can lower your presser foot because we're going to use the needle threading mechanism. This is an automatic needle threading mechanism. The idea is it comes down automatically turns, inserts a wire into the eye of your needle, and then you pull the thread through the eye of your needle using that wire. This wire is not aligned correctly, so the mechanism won't work. But if it did work, what you would do is you would, there's a hook over here, you would bring your thread to the outside of the hook, underneath the hook. It's much easier to do as it's turning. And as it turns, you put your thread right between these two, these four arms. And there's a wire in here that will grab your thread and pull it through the back. Before we sew, on many old sewing machines, you have to bring the bobbin thread up through this tiny hole underneath the needle and bring all the threads to the back. That's not necessarily true on all new sewing machines, but I'm going to show you how to do it on this machine, just in case you need to do it on any other machine. I'm going to use the hand wheel that's on the side of the machine. I'm going to turn it towards the front of the machine, one revolution causing the needle to go down and then up again. I'm going to hold on, I've changed this to black thread, I'm going to hold on to my needle thread. You'll see an orange loop come up. That's the bobbin thread. And you want to bring that up and towards the back of the machine. You want to ideally have your thread underneath and in this little hole of the presser foot and towards the back of the machine as well when you start to sew. It just reduces the chance of tangling.